Hello subscribers and not subscribers and welcome back to another episode of Roommates. Uh, let me go ahead and start my timer. And let's go ahead and begin. I don't quite know really. I don't recall if there's really any significant events that occur uh, during week 12. Uh, let's see. My phone calendar is telling me that tonight's the night Roxanne's supposed to come over for a study session. I busy myself around the house gathering up a few things to make sure the night goes smoothly, a few snacks, things like that. Most of the rest of the house are caught up in their own studies, so it should be a pretty quiet night. Okay. Roll of the dice really doesn't matter when it comes to Roxanne, so... We'll just roll the dice three times, and whatever we get on the third time, we'll decide what we get. And I got a five and a six for the last two rolls. Let's see what this third roll is. A five, which means we're going to be skipping the event. Suddenly, I just get cold feet about the whole thing. I don't know if Roxanne will feel comfortable here, or if maybe I'm putting out too much effort. I don't want this chick to think I'm trying to hit on her or something. I just don't think my place is the best route for us. I flip to my contact book and dial up Roxanne. Hey, Roxanne? Yeah, hello. Hey, can we cancel tonight? Something came up. I suppose it is acceptable. Are you sure you can't work around it? I was quite prepared to come study tonight. I know, sorry. Unfortunately, this has to be dealt with tonight. I'll email you and we'll set up a different time. Very well. She hangs up without much ceremony. I hope she wasn't too mad. Roxanne's not really an important uh, character, in my eyes at least. Glad I went shopping after all. Valentine's Day is here. Now I guess it's just a matter of figuring out if I want to make a big deal out of it. It's a pretty nice day out, actually. The weather really cleared up. It made for a nice walk around the dorm while I figure things out. As I enter Latin House, I can hear all kinds of noises. Sounds like everybody's home at least. I head up to my room for a moment while I decide what I want to do. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and play this event. Period. I suppose there's no point in waiting around. No time like the present, after all. Really, the only question is, who should I try to find? Well, obviously, it's Sally. I'm pretty sure Sally should have just finished walking Vegemite, so she's probably in her room by now. I knock quietly and open the door when I hear her calling. A quick foot keeps the puppy from running down the hallway. Oh, thank goodness, the little brat. So what can I do for you? As I enter the room, I pick the squirming puppy up and give him a few scratches behind the ears. Once the door is closed, I put him back on the floor. He's still pretty happy to see me, though, so I take a few moments to play with him while Sally smiles down at us. You've got a really cute puppy here, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. He's a pretty good boy, too, even if he is a terrible brat. Did you just come to play with him? That's pretty cute, too. No, he just distracted me. I definitely came in here for you. It's not much, but I picked this up for you. They had a donation box at the store for the Wildlife Savers Foundation. I made a donation in your name. Here's the receipt. Oh, oh wow. Thank you so much, Max. I don't know what to say. I try to give to them every year, and I was so upset that I wasn't able to... I wasn't going to be able to this year with college and all. You have no idea what this means to me. Sally seems pretty overcome with emotion, but I think she's really happy with the gift. I don't think anybody who knows me would describe me as subtle. So I'll just come out with it. You're a lot of fun, Sally. Want to go out with me sometime? I'd like to see if there could be something more between us. I I think that'd be or I I think I'd like that, Max. I'll admit I didn't think he'd be the type I'd be interested in when we first met. Our auras aren't exactly the most compatible, you know. 
But I think you've shown that you can actually be pretty sweet when you put your mind to it. And anyone Vegemite likes is automatically bumped up in my books. Bah, that little brat likes anybody with the doggy treat. Still, I'll take recommendations where I can get them. I, I'm looking forward to getting to know you more, Sally. Sally puts Vegemite down on the bed and comes over to give me a slow and tender hug for a few moments. I admit she feels good in my arms. I'm looking forward to that too. Thank God, because I'm pretty sure Memphis was about to kick me in the head if I didn't say something soon. Sally giggles at that. Well, I'm sure Vegemite needs your attention more than I do for now. Have a good night, Sally. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Max. And, wow, that, I, did that take up, like, all of Thursday? Wow. Hmm. Like, I mean, unless I do, like, a double week, it's not really gonna be a long episode. So I might end up needing to do a double week. I haven't had an honest-to-God decent date since I came to college. I'll admit, I didn't exactly expect Sally to be the first. I'm looking forward to it either way. I did my research and even found a place that serves a good assortment of vegetarian-friendly food. That never be said that I don't think about how my ladies feel. Still, I wonder if I can go through with the second half of that plan, which is to try to eat vegetarian with her. Nothing for it to, but to find out, I guess. And we're going to go and just play this event no matter what. At 7.45, I head over to Sally's room. Our date's at 8, but I think I know how to score some points. Oh, hey, Max. I'm totally not ready yet. I actually, um... She looks nervously around, but I actually cut off her, cut her off with a grin. I know, I figured you'd still need to take care of that. Though I'd run interference and maybe, or thought I'd run interference and maybe join you on your walk. <laughs> Sally sighs with the relief and then gives me a big smile. Luckily, the others seem to be out or occupied, so it's pretty easy to get out of the house with Vegemite without being bothered. I play with Veggie a little bit. Before he does his business, Sally came prepared and cleans it up while we give him a speech about being a responsible owner. We drop him back off inside and Sally asks Rakesh to keep an eye out. Uh, with him out of the way, we head off to my van. Next time, I'll try to find a place that's dog friendly. Aw, here's sweet for offering Max, but he's getting bigger and needs to get more used to me. Er... But he's getting bigger and needs to get more used to me going out sometimes. We head to the restaurant I picked out and grab a street-side table. The air is crisp, but it's not too cold. Plus, the restaurant has those nice torch things out. Oh, wow. This looks like a great vegetarian selection. Thanks, Max. What kind of stuff do they have for you? Oh, just assuming I can't hack it in the vegetarian menu, eh? Oh, feeling adventurous, eh? I'm always adventurous. Adventurous is my middle name. Seriously, it caused a big fuss on my social security card. When the waiter comes over, we both order off the vegetarian menu. I'll admit, I cheat a little by getting a nice soup, but it's got leeks in it, and that should count for something, right? You know, I'm already impressed, right? I'm not going to pretend I've switched over to vegetarianism, but I like you. You like this stuff, and I like you, so... I shrug as I sip my water, watching Sally's reaction over the rim of my glass. Well, I appreciate a man with an open mind. I hope you enjoy your choice. Anyway, enough about that. How long have you been together with Back Alley Flash? I bet Memphis in junior high. We both took music electives, so we played together even back then. We met the others later on. We've only been Back Alley Flash for about a year at this point. We went through a couple of other names. Oh? Yeah, really stupid stuff. Totentans, Skull Taffy. Memphis would never let me call us the Mighty Max Band. So, do you have any real goal at. Eh. So, do you have any real goal at college then? I mean, it seems like you spend a lot of energy on your band. Honestly? Not really. You were there that night. We're on our way, you know. College makes a useful place to hang out and a good base of operations. 
I mean, my parents are footing the bill. Guess they still hope I'll kick this band thing. You haven't found anything that catches your interest? There are a few music classes I've been taking here and there. Most of the ones I can get into at this point, though, are for people who've barely touched an instrument. What about you? You sound like you know what you want. What keeps you coming to class? Mostly the fact that I'm here on scholarship. I worked really hard for, but I know what you mean. I just want to make a difference, and I know there's a lot I don't know yet. Sometimes I think about going into political science. I do good work down at the student farm, but I don't know if I want to do that kind of agricultural work all my life. I hear you. I hear you. It's just as we're about to get more into it, our food finally arrives. It's the moment of truth, and the soup's not bad at all. Even the leeks aren't too bad. Oh. For a second there, I thought I had double-clicked and skipped a line, but it looks like I didn't. Zelly seems happy that I'm enjoying the meal. She says her own meal is really good too, which is good since I had no way of vetting this place out. As we eat, we continue to discuss our views on schooling and what our goals are. Sally knows she wants to change the way the world works, even if only in a small way. She's taking classes to help her decide how best to do that. I, of course, know I'm going to change the world with the power of rock. Classes are clearly secondary to that. At last, the waiter comes over with a check. Sally raises an eyebrow and I just pay without a second glance. I can pay my own way, you know. I know, but I asked you out, so this time it's on me. Next time you can grab the check. Aren't you getting ahead of yourself assuming there's going to be a next time? <laughs> As if. I'm like a bag of potato chips, just one is never enough. Also, I'm extremely salty and kind of bad for you. But I do count as a vegetable, right? Only in so far as you have a vegetable for a brain. Fine, I guess I owe you. We take off back for the house, having had a nice meal. This time, though, I take the scenic route, giving us a bit more time to talk on our way. And I just dropped my... Dice. Oh well, I'll just have to find it later, I guess. When we finally get back home, we get Vegemite back from Rakesh, who was on his best behavior too, and head to Sally's room. Thanks for the meal and the talk, Max. I had a lot of fun. Sally sits on her bed with Vegemite in her lap. I had fun too. Thanks for coming out with me, Sally. Um... Hmm. Save. I don't actually know what to say in regards to this uh, choice here. Because, well, I never played Sally's Route and I don't really know anything about uh, her. So, uh, we can try going for the kiss. Maybe things will go horribly, horribly wrong and things won't work out. Or we can just go and play with Vegemite, which I guess to a degree could be considered playing safe. But of course, if Sally wants us to go for the kiss, but we don't, that could always, of course, potentially piss her off. So I guess we can just try to go for the kiss. Sally is sitting on her bed looking up at me through her bangs. She looks beautiful. She's blushing lightly and her lips part for a moment like she's about to say something, but she doesn't. I sit down next to her on the be on her bed. Our shoulders touch as I lean in close to her. I'm hoping to be able to go out with you again. Sally nods at me, her eyes half-lidded as she starts to close her eyes. I can feel her breath as she pursues her lips. Or, yeah, purses her lips. I lean close and close my own eyes. Just as our faces are about to touch, I feel a cold, wet tongue lick my cheek. <laughs> Vegemite climbed the distracted Sally and decided he was the one I really wanted to kiss. Vegemite, not in front of Sally, she'll get jealous. I told you we had to keep our love secret. I grab Vegemite and wrestle with him for a bit, much to Sally's amusement. I can't stay mad at the little guy, even if he ruined a perfectly good scene. 
Finally, I stand to leave and hand the brat of a puppy back to Sally. I really did have fun tonight. I hope we can do it again. I did like that. Okay, let me see. What's our time wrap? Oh, we've got about five minutes left. <sighs> you see, I think that might be a decent cutoff point because if I start now, I'm just going to go and end up getting partway through the week, but I'd rather not go partway through the week. I'd rather... Um, just go through an entire week and then basically that be that for an episode. Otherwise, then I'm picking up, well, yeah, partway through the week, which is not something I particularly want to do. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off, despite the fact that, realistically speaking, there's still a decent amount of time left on my timer. Uh, but I think it just makes it easier for me to cut it off here so for now that is going to be all for uh, this episode of roommates and as always like your comment subscribe share and i'll see you guys next time and i do apologize for it being such a short episode this week but that's just the way it's going to be for this week okay now where did the dice fall Wow, yeah, that dice like just disappeared, it seems. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, that's that. As I said, as always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, goodbye and farewell.